Hey guys, I wanted to start a short video series checking out some old PC games. I'll be taking a look at what works, what doesn't work, and the multiplayer aspects of each game. Hopefully it'll give you guys enough information to decide if it's still worth playing. This time I'll be looking at a classic first person shooter, Quake 3 Arena. <laughs> For the most part, Quake 3 is a multiplayer game. There is a single player as well, but it just pits you against bots in the multiplayer maps that get progressively harder. I definitely recommend doing the single player uh, at least a few matches before jumping into the multiplayer if you've never played the game before, just to understand what's going on. Most servers for the game will either be running free for all or capture the flag, and the multiplayer is extremely fast paced. The server browser for the game still works great, and there's quite a few active servers as well. The game runs fine on any modern 64-bit version of Windows. There's also multiple ways of getting it to work on Linux as well. You can get Quake 3 on either a second-hand retail CD, which you can get on eBay for fairly cheap, or it's also available on Steam and GOG.com for about $15. I recommend buying the game on GOG.com, but if you do go with the retail CD version, Make sure it's one of the versions that includes Team Arena. If you get the Steam or GOG versions, they should work right out of the box. If you get the CD version, you might have to install the newest patch to get it working in multiplayer. I'll put a link in the description for the PC Gaming Wiki page on Quake 3. It has all the patches as well as a lot of useful information about the game. When you first start the game, you'll notice that the game doesn't natively support widescreen resolutions. There's an easy fix for this though. Went to the folder where we installed Quake 3. There will be a folder inside that called Base EQ3. You want to go ahead and go into that and create a new text document. And once you do that, rename it to autoexec.cfg. And once you rename it to that, go ahead and open it with a WordPad and copy and paste these variables into the document. And I'll have these in the video description. And once you have these copied and pasted, go ahead and put your resolution into these for your width and height. And also you can set your field of view here to whatever you want. The default is 90. You can also make Quake 3 look a little bit better by forcing anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering in your graphics card's control panel. Besides the widescreen fix, all the other features of the game seem to work right out of the box. If you've never tried Quake 3 before and you like fast-paced shooter games, I'd definitely give this one a try. And there's also tons of mods available for it too that are also a lot of fun. I'll leave the video off with just some raw multiplayer gameplay. Thanks for watching guys. Thank <laughs> you.